This industry is about people. It's about having good, talented, skilled people. And therefore, it's extremely important for uh, us to be able to attract and retain good people, good talent with us. Uh, TCS has consistently been the employer of choice. Among, and this is borne out by various surveys carried out by uh, DataQuest, IDC and so forth, uh, where it's been our positioning as the best employer amongst uh, college graduates as well as you know, people who are joining us from the industry has been reinforced. The biggest challenge to retaining competitiveness is uh, cost, uh, is, is manpower cost. Because of the boom that's uh, happening in the country, uh, our costs are going up. Uh, we have to, uh, there, there are two you know, parts to this answer. The first is, how do we continue to maintain our competitiveness? So we have to do unique and innovative things, you know, be it in terms of growing non-linearly, whether it's by licensing products, which are there, as I mentioned, once you develop it and you get it right, uh, you are able to replicate it at virtually no cost and get incremental license revenues from the customer. So this helps you offset some of the increases in, in your costs. Uh, the other way is that we should be able to, we, we, have, we are trying to move more and more work to be executed from India because while salaries in India are rising faster than they are rising elsewhere in the world, uh, it still is a lot more profitable for us to execute work in India than in the US or UK or wherever else, wherever else our customers are, are located. So th th these are what we refer to as our levers you know, to, to maintain our competitiveness. So that's, that's one aspect, that we do this to try and sustain our competitiveness. The other part is, uh, what about other countries like China, etc.? Are they a threat to us? We believe not. Uh, in fact, we think China can only be a good partner. It can supplement uh, what we have here in India. Uh, the biggest problem in China today is language. And, uh, you know, this has uh, worked out quite nicely for India that, uh, you know, English had, has, even today has aspirational value in India. If you go into the interiors, uh, it's, it's still considered, uh, you know, uh, quite advanced for people to be able to fluent, uh, to be, uh, for people to be fluent in English. And uh, because of uh, the English education system, etc., that we have in India, we've got a unique advantage uh, that China cannot... Uh, <coughs> Uh, you know, overtake in, in, in the near future. Uh, today, the largest software company in China is uh, about 8,000 people. They have not been able to build the kind of scale that we have. We also have operations in China. We find that uh, where, it, where it comes to bilingual people, if we are to staff our company there with all bilingual people, it is actually more expensive to run an operation in China.